Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be discussing the top five music players for Linux. Now these are completely of my own opinion. Uh, there are tons and tons of music player apps out there for Linux. These are just the ones that I find the best. Um, so it's my opinion. I've left links to everything that I talk about today down in the description below. And um, let's just go ahead and jump right in. This should be a fairly short video, so let's jump in. So the first one is going to be VLC. Now, uh, it does mostly video, but VLC is actually will actually play um, music as well. Now, it doesn't do like my library management or anything, but if you're the min the minimalist sort the minimalist sort <laughs> you might just want one app that does everything and literally that's VLC um, now VLC uh, I can't show you on this because it's gonna show up on a different it's gonna show up on a different monitor I might be able to transfer it over to Yeah, this is what VLC looks like. Um, it's just a blank thing, and if you play music in it, it will still be blank, and it'll just show the media controls down here. Um, like I said, it's mostly for video, but it will, if like if you, all you want is one app that will do everything in terms of playing stuff, VLC is your best bet. So the next one I want to talk about is Rhythmbox. Now Rhythmbox comes pre-installed on Ubuntu, I believe. At least it used to. I think it still does. Um, and it's been around for a long time. Um, let's see if I can find a picture. I don't have it installed. Alright, I always gotta spell it right. This is what Rhythmbox looks like. And because it will manage your libraries it has a tag editor uh it will allow you to scrubble last fm and, and play f from various audio stations it's very full featured and it's very very um appropriate for anyone who's running in the gtk um like a, like gnome or mate or whatever it, it will fit right in and will uh, follow your themes and everything um it's great I, it's not for me because I don't use GTK stuff, um, but uh, it is very good and obviously free and open source as all these are. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is Clementine. This is what Clementine looks like, and yes, this is a uh, looks like this is Clementine on Windows, but Clementine is, is available for Linux. It's a lot like Rhythmbox, only it has a huge plugin library so you can get it to work with Spotify I think it will work with Pandora and other music radio services like that it will also uh, scrabble the last FM and all those things also has a tag editor um, one of the great things is it has tabs so you can have different playlists open at the same time and be playing from different ones you know whenever um, it's not as well designed, I don't think, as Rhythmbox. I, I've never really cared for it, but it has different views. I'm not not sure if it will show these. Again, I don't have this installed. I should I should install some of these. Um, but anyways, it has different views. So the looks of the default view never really appealed to me, but you can change that so it looks a little bit different. Um, the next one I want to talk about is Lollipop, and I do have this one installed. <laughs> If I can get it to open. Apparently I can't get it to open. <laughs> why, w why would anything work when I... This is like my fourth attempt at a video today. Okay, well I can't get Lollipop to open either. That's really weird. Not sure why... Oh, there we go. That's Lollipop. I don't... Why do you need my password? Really weird. Anyways, you can see, this is Lollipop. Now, um, this is a GTK theme. It, it, I think this is better than Rhythmbox, if only because it's updated more often, uh, and it's prettier. Uh, it doesn't have as many features as Rhythmbox does, but I just like the design of it better. Um, it uh, Again, it will do pretty much all of the uh, normal stuff if you, you do the... 
preferences here. You can do, you can add uh, several things from the the web, um, including Spotify and things. So I guess it has more features than I actually thought it did. Um, I never used any of these things because I stopped using Lollipop quite a while ago. Um, but it is available, and it's I like I said I think it looks better than Rhythmbox. Um, Functionality-wise, they're fairly similar. All right. The next one, or the last one I want to talk about is one that I can't pronounce the name of. It's NCMPCPP. I'll have the actual name down on the thing, but this is a terminal-based one, and it requires MPD to set up. Now, it is a pain in the ass to get MPD set up and and the NCMP, NCNPCPP, whatever. <laughs> it's a horrible name for a really good, for, this is the one I use. Um, basically, I'm trying to go to all terminal-based or all console-based uh, applications other than, you know, like web browsers, um, just because I'm a nerd and I want to. Um, but I like this one because it just allows you to use the terminal. It's very, very lightweight. Like I said, it's a pain in the ass to set up. So if you're uh, not interested in in trying to figure it out, uh, I would avoid this one and just use one of the graphical uh, user interface ones. Um, those are all very easy to set up and will work with external hard drives and stuff. This one here will work with external hard drives, but you got to set it up in config files. And if you want to theme it, you have to deal with config files. So it's not as uh, it's not user intuitive at all. Like zero percent, negative percent. <laughs> Uh, but if you're a control addict and like to literally dive into config files, this is the one that you should choose. Anyways, like I said, very quick video. Um, like I said, there are tons and tons of music app, music players out there. These are just the five that I particularly like the most. Uh, and, and there are older ones like Amara. I think Amara is the name. That's a KD one. Uh, why don't why he doesn't have a K at the beginning of it? I don't know. Uh, there's um, I mean, there's several other ones that are really good. Uh, I think there's one that KD is actually working on to replace Amarok right now, um, but I'm not sure what that's called. But anyways, these are the five that I've chosen. I, I will put links to all their you know pages in the description below. Now, if you like this sh uh, crap <laughs> if you like this video give it a like if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down if you really liked it give us a, a, a subscribe follow us on twitter and all that nonsense and uh we'll see you next time